So the next creative feat that I am looking forward to conquering is the vlog. I have been working on vlogging just about every single day and it's really exciting but it's also very challenging in that it is requiring me to share a side of me that hasn't previously been shared. I share quite a lot. I'm very vulnerable in my writing and in my videos, but this is a new way of sharing. From a creative standpoint, because I am the director, the videographer, the editor, and the screenwriter for all of my you know, 10 minute vlog videos, it's really pushing me to present a story arc for each vlog in a way that's compelling, engaging, while also being the same kind of vulnerable Joanne that you see in all of my other video content. This is so difficult for me. <laughs> Uh, only because I have created so many videos and it's hard for me to really pin down one that I truly love more than the other for any reason. But I would say one that comes to mind is actually a video that I did in conjunction, you know, with a, a, um, a client. Um, they reached out to me and asked me if I could put together a video for one of their campaigns. Um, and it was about honoring your elders. And obviously for me, honoring you know my family and uh, my grandparents and even my great grandparents, that all is part of what I do, which is sharing the immigrant story. So I shared a story about my paternal grandmother while making kimbap, which is a, a Korean snack dish, right? And it was the story about my grandmother fleeing North Korea with my father swaddled to her back. And it, again, pushed me creatively in that I wanted to kind of interweave the storytelling with the cooking while also creating a writing or a script that was compelling and engaging and that really pulled people into my world, into my kitchen, also into my grandmother's world, into the fear that she had while she was fleeing North Korea with you know, an infant tied to her back, uh, and also even into my father's world as he told that story to me about my grandmother. I think the most interesting comments that I receive, uh, one that comes to mind specifically is from uh, another woman who lives in a state totally different from mine. I live in Illinois and she didn't. And she wrote me in response to one of my videos saying, I have nothing in common with you. I'm not Asian. Uh, I don't work in uh, you know, the law. I work in a completely different field from you and I don't eat Korean food and I'm not vegan. So there's no reason for us to have anything in common. And yet from your videos, I feel a sense of like sisterhood. I feel like I get you. And I think that is one of my most favorite comments that I've ever received from a person because it shows that even if there is a universe of differences separating you from another person, a stranger even, that words, images, and these videos can actually be a tool to bring people together. My dream collaboration. Oh, that's, that's really tough because I've already, you know, been able to make so many of my dreams come true in that way and collaborating with people. I would say my dream collaboration would involve two creators, two of my favorite creators. Um, that would be Chef John Kung and Dylan LeMay. We collaborated sort of, um, not on video content, but in other ways. They actually uh, came to one of my book launch events and they moderated our chat for us and that was really amazing. But I would say I would love to create a video with DJ LeMay and with uh, Chef John Kung because I think they're both amazing food content creators. They're incredible people. Both of them are phenomenal writers as well as videographers, video editors, and just digital content creators. So hopefully we're gonna make it happen uh, sometime in first quarter 2022.